What am I doing? Oh. Last 24 hours in Taiwan. How's it going everybody? My name is Wes Davies. Welcome back to Catherine's last day in Taiwan. I mean, welcome back to another video. Uh, we are here in Jingguashi. This is in north, northern Taiwan, uh, north of Taipei, north of Jilong. And this used to be a, a town famous for its gold mining. Uh, the Japanese set it up many, many decades ago and pretty much mined most of the gold from the surrounding hills. But what they left behind is a beautiful little couple of gold mining towns in the mountains like Jofun and Jingguashi, where we are right now. And now it's kind of a gold mining museum, historical site in Taiwan. And one of the things that we are interested in doing today is doing the Teapot Mountain hike. This is something that Lucas turned me onto a couple of years ago. And I know it's one of his favorite things to do in Taiwan. Catherine is a big hiker. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna see if we can uh, retrace our footsteps up here on Teapot Mountain. Hi. Hi. Are we going the right way? Yep. But look, you can see the old uh, kind of Japanese trade office buildings. A lot of really nice, beautiful old buildings around here. And we have to find the bridge, which will take us to the start of the Teapot Mountain Path. So let's go. Yeah, I, I went in here once a long time ago, the Gold Mining Museum. They have a huge gold brick uh, that you're, you can put your hand in the glass and touch it. Now I remember why I haven't done this hike in two years. The stairs, the stairs. Lucas knows what I'm talking about. Uh, the initial stairs are very steep and it's very hot out. Catherine didn't seem to mind. It really, really wasn't that bad. <laughs> I think that Wes needs to get out more. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, the, the benefit of taking the stairs is pretty quickly you get to a place that looks like this. Geelong over there, big, nice big mountain, small little village, and the ocean. You feel very close to the sky mm -hmm. and very close to the ocean and the mountains at the same time. And close to the really heat nice. too, the summer heat. It is really fresh, there's a nice breeze out here. Yeah. Yeah. You're basically saying all the opposite things that I'm saying. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna keep heading up to uh, Teapot Mountain. Alive. <laughs> you don't look alive. I didn't think I would see a waterfall today, but... You see a waterfall? <laughs> oh, me? <laughs> you! <laughs> yeah, I'm... Literally dripping. Super nice here. Some shade. We're almost there. We're almost at the, the top. Thank you, Lucas, for your suggestion. Yeah. So this is where we're gonna go. Over here. To the top and then we're gonna walk over there i don't know where to it's my first time are you ready to go i'm ready to go yeah that was a nice break needed and more stairs so let's get to it all right so when you get to this part of the hill you gotta use the rope Pull yourself up and then work your way through the cave system to the rope at the end there. Hi, what are you doing in the hole? Come out, come out. Slowly but surely. Are you delirious? No. You're okay? I'm very good. You're right beside a cliff. Can't leave Taiwan without making you suffer. I think this might be where I took the thumbnail for my last Teapot Mountain video, right here. Uh, for some reason, I look in much rougher shape than I did on that day. <laughs> Why is that? The age. It's the age? Two years? You are aging fast. I think, it's, I think it was cooler that day. It was rainy, a little bit rainy, overcast. Maybe you were in better shape. Maybe I was in better shape. Maybe I was trying to impress Lucas, I don't know. <laughs> You're not trying to impress me, I see. <laughs> uh, this is the part I like. You can feel the air, as you said, coming right up yeah. 
through the mountain. It's like a fan. Yeah. It's nice. I wish the whole thing was like this. Maybe I should be a, a spelunker instead of a yeah, rock climber. Spelunker. What's a spelunker? Who knows what that is? It's a, it's a cave, like someone who goes through caves. Oh. Spelunker. Ooh. I gotta get out more. You do. I spend all my time editing at a desk. This isn't what I usually do. It's fun though. I know you like getting out, but it takes a lot to get you out. But once you're out, you love it and you don't want to go back. Let's move along. So now we're going to go out of the rock and go down to this little way and then up, up, up. Yeah. There's Teapot Mountain. All right, we did it. We just came through Teapot Mountain. And we keep going. A lot of people think that that's the end, but Lucas taught me that. No, no, no. No, 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 you can keep going. So let's go. If we're hungry, just up here is a nice place to rest in the shade and eat a little bit of lunch. I might just have a bite of the Baozi. What are we eating? Uh, we picked up some early morning baozi and uh, I accidentally spilled soy milk in the bag. I think it's soaking wet with soy milk. But what are you gonna do? Is it good? Yep. Does it taste like doujang? Mm-hmm. It's really? Hold on to the hand of self-destruction And I'm back to a place that I left a long time ago so I guess from now on, we just go down. This is the top. Yep. What do you do when you... So how do you feel about the hike? It was great. I wouldn't want to spend my last day in Taiwan any other way. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. I really like Taiwan's nature, so... Mm -hmm. I'm glad we're not like in the city running here and there. We might do that later, but it's nice to see. It's, it's nice to have an overview of Taiwan, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, have the mountains and the sea. And the air is actually so clear, you can see forever. Yeah, yeah. And you can still see the city. So I think that's a nice way to spend my last day. Yeah. All right, uh, I think that's basically it. Uh, after you get to the top of the mountain here, you just keep following the trail and eventually you end up way back down in Jingguashe. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna book it down the hill, put the cameras away, just enjoy the view. I love you, Taiwan. You gonna miss it? Yeah. Of course. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but that's like, <laughs> it's the brightest, closest rainbow either of us have ever seen. I've never seen a rainbow like that. It's like, it's right there. Yeah. It's wild. And it's been here for like, what, five minutes? Yeah. You can't stop watching it. Wow. All right, I think we've officially made it back to civilization. And we saw the coolest, best rainbow that we've ever seen. And now we have reached Jofun. Now we're hungry. We're and starving. we're gonna try to find the Jofun Old Street. Yeah. I'm sure I say this in literally all of my videos, but I just love, <laughs> you know exactly what I'm gonna say? Quiet and quaint. Is that a word? Quaint, yeah. Quaint. And um, yeah, it's just like time traveling in Taiwan and brings you back to like so long ago. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> I just need to learn a few more adjectives and then. Then you can take yeah. over my channel. <laughs> no. You can so. see the old Japanese architecture. Yeah. 
Yeah, the old bricks and then there's plants and we're right over here in Jofen. <laughs> <laughs> we're just walking through history. <laughs> I've now become a parody of my own channel. <laughs> Haven't I? Yeah. Oh, where are we? I think we're here. Woo! Awesome. We're so thirsty. <laughs> so we got Dongguan and Ningmeng Cha. And uh, what is that? Liu Cha with basil seed and... Ayu. 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 Ayu jelly. And Ningmeng. Is it everything you could possibly hope for? That was so good. Really? Yeah. I love these little bits. I like the texture. They can pop in your mouth. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This is probably something you can't get in Canada. You're right, unless I ask my mom to make it. Can she make that? She could try. <laughs> I'm sure she could nail it. Mmm. Why do I love this thing so much? I don't know. The craziest thing for me is I've been here when there were thousand people in Jofun and it's impossible to stand here and even get a picture of yourself without people walking around in the background. So just to be here completely alone, like on either side, it's wild. Absolutely wild. You feel sorry for the business owners, but for just travelers coming through here, I mean, I've never ever seen it this empty. That is it for Joe Fun. Uh, I think we'll probably do one more thing in Taipei tonight before we see her off to the airport. But yeah, this is, I think it's a pretty nice thing to see on your last day. It is, it is. All right, well, Catherine is in the cab heading to the airport. I'm left alone here in the hotel here in Taipei. So I'm just, I think I'm just gonna gather my things, hop on a bus, go back to Kaohsiung. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this recent series with Catherine, her last few days in Taiwan. Uh, let's cross our fingers that she'll be back and someday you'll see her in another video again in the future. I think that would be great. And with that, I will bid you adieu and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching everybody. Please like and subscribe, do all those nice things, and uh, let's wish Catherine a safe flight. So I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.